smash or pass this is defined on urban dictionary as to bang if given the chance or if given the chance they wouldn't and this definition was posted in 2010 so this game it's been around forever and back in 2021 i made the thickest commander tier list in rise of kingdoms and somehow i didn't get canceled and in fact i've had many people request an update to the thickest commander tier list but rise of kingdoms has only added a handful of women since i made that video and i didn't just want to make the same video a second time i mean surely no rise of kingdoms youtuber would ever make the same video twice i mean come on but since i'm just so generous and I want to give the people what they want on today's episode of Omniarch is down bad we're going to be doing a smash or pass for all of the women in rise of kingdoms not just on their looks but also for their personality of course I can't imagine why people would want a follow-up to the thickest commander tier list it's not like I have 94 percent male viewership I mean come on I will say though that 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so go ahead and use this as an opportunity as an excuse go ahead and click that subscribe button so without further ado let's just jump right into this okay let's start with ethel fled uh ethel fled everybody knows that she is gorgeous she is a confident warrior woman look at that bow and arrow and you know the fact that she has a dead animal on her shoulders does dock a couple of points off she probably smells a little bit funny okay you got a literally like a dead was that a coyote or something like it's it's a dead creature okay but Ethel Fled is gorgeous so we are we already know she's go she, she's going in smash next up is Amanatore now here's the thing about Amanatore okay she looks rich she looks powerful and whoever designed these commanders gave her a hip to waist ratio that is she almost looks like an alien to be honest with you it, it's actually ridiculous and just like Ethel Fled she looks like a, a warrior okay but for me Amanatore looks pissed off like she looks like she would beat my ass if I'm being honest with you I mean she doesn't even look happy to be here if you just look look at her face in game I mean is it just me am I crazy I feel like she's here to crack skulls okay she says my kingdom has wealth indeed Ooh, she is rich um but I I I gotta pass I'm just I feel like I would just disappoint her to be honest with you like I I don't know what am I doing on YouTube bro what am I doing oh my god it's sad I gotta say this but in case this is not clear this video is a joke okay this is all for this is all fun and games so uh don't, don't cancel me in the comment section below okay next up we have Artemisia Artemisia everybody know if you've been watching this channel for more than like a week you know that Artemisia is bay okay she's got the classic goth look she also looks like she would go to jail for you she looks like the type of girl that if you're leaving the my chemical romance concert and you get into a physical fight she'd beat their ass and she's also gorgeous okay she's going in the smash category as as number one a hundred percent I don't even have to talk about the fact that she's literally a queen like she's got the weirdo earrings and the heavy eyeliner she che she checks every box okay I would let Artemisia step on me and I'd be happy about it next up is Boudica Prime now this is actually a new commander that wasn't in the thickest commander tier list of course regular Boudica was and in that video I think I said something along the lines of that she's just like a nice girl she looks like a sweet like girl next door not Boudica Prime she's here to kill people she's got the apple bottom dress the boots with the fur and yes in fact the whole club is looking at her she goes in smash in absolutely above Ethel Fled 100 percent 100 percent above Ethel Fled I will say the blue tribal paint would be a little bit weird Weird, okay but she's just so damn heroic oh my god now of course we have epic Boudica as well uh and the difference here is that epic Boudica just looks nice look at her she's smiling she's happy she's looking around she is the girl next door that helps you with your English homework okay she is a close childhood friend somebody that you love to hang out with you get brunch with on the weekends but I I'm, I'm I'm just gonna pass I'm gonna pass I know I know I'm friend zoning epic Boudica that's what I'm doing here I'm friend zoning her she's a, she looks like a lovely woman but once she cracks a couple skulls and becomes a badass bitch, that's when I'm interested okay that's when we uh, that's when epic Boudica becomes Boudica Prime next up is Astrid this is the first non-commander on the list here but she is fair and square a woman in rise of kingdoms uh and I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna pass I'm gonna pass on uh Astrid she looks like she's fierce 
she does not look like she's happy to be here she looks like she would quite literally kill me she's pretty much a barbarian out in the open out in the world okay she lives in like an animal hide tent so she probably uh smells a little bit funny okay she's also got that david bowie face paint going on there that i just can't get i just i don't know what i don't know what that what that is if artemisia is the girl you leave the my chemical romance concert with astrid is the girl that is actually the bouncer to the club she looks like she'd meet you at the billiards table and hustle you out of a hundred dollars and if you don't pay her she'd beat the shit out of you it's a hard pass for me dog next up is cleopatra cleopatra i'm pretty sure i included her in in the thumbnail of this video as well she's gorgeous okay she's literally the queen of egypt she was mega rich for her time i mean look at those eyes bro oh my god she's gorgeous she's uh she's gorgeous she is 100 going into smash and i would say she probably goes above Boudicca prime even i i think she's she is one of the better looking uh commanders in rise of kingdoms she's covered in gold she's a little bit flirty i mean what's not to love about the queen of egypt cleopatra 100 percent she goes in smash next up is constance uh and the thing about constance i think in the thickest commander tier list video i think i i didn't put her in the top tier i'm pretty sure people were upset i don't remember exactly that was years ago but i'm pretty sure people were upset with where i placed her in that video uh and i just want to say that this is definitely a smash commander this is this is definitely smash this is going even above ethel fled uh she is gorgeous i just don't know what's with this stupid bird thing it's a it's like a, a staff a scepter or something like that i don't really know what's going on here um she looks kind of cute like Boudica, like epic Boudica. like she would be like a really nice you know friend girl next door whatever but she's just absolutely gorgeous she's gorgeous guys i mean come on let's be honest you know what i know whatever everyone knows like she's 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 cute she's beautiful she's even got the choker on already okay so you know listen <laughs> hey and also a queen so she's rich i mean like let's this is i've got every reason to smash here okay next is dao chan and this is one of the best looking commanders in the game it comes straight from dynasty warriors i think and she's gorgeous i mean she's already got the whip out brother do i even have to go any further i know this is isn't exactly a, a whip okay but whatever she does with this thing it will translate to a whip just fine and her her active skill in the game she's literally like dancing with like all these ribbons like absolutely this is one of the most beautiful commanders in the game no question she goes near the top of the smash category next we have dito the queen of carthage this is again one of the newer commanders of the game was not on the thickest commander tier list and this one is this one's tough for me this one is this one is tough um i mean look according to this dito and the trojan hero aeneas definitely saying that wrong met and fell in love supposedly after the two were forced to part the sorrowful queen took her own life so she's loyal to the core there's something so sweet about that but it's also kind of dramatic i mean like come on like that's that's some drama right there boys to me it sounds like if you smash like she probably wants to marry you like that listen i'm gonna i'm gonna pass but it's she's gonna be at the, the highest of the pass like like depending on the day i may put her in, in the smash category but this just this just feels like a lot of i don't know i don't know i don't know if i want to deal with that you know she'd probably make a, a great wife okay but but we're talking about smashing and passing i mean we're very classy here on the channel i'm gonna say pass just for now next we have esmeralda aka the mysterious merchant and my god do i like mysterious women she got the tarot cards in her hand she's gonna predict my future my fortune this is a hard smash this is a definite smash even though she's probably gonna rob me like am i crazy i feel like she like she'd smash and then by the time like you wake up the next morning she's gone and so is all your money but like it would be it would be kind of like worth it you know definitely smash definitely smash she's gorgeous you know it come on look look at her let's be honest she looks like you'd meet her in like pirates of the caribbean or something like that I, I don't know she's beautiful she's even got the little bedazzle under the eyelids like she's going to edc las vegas or like you know ultra music festival in miami i dig it I, i'm a big fan next we got frida okay and frida looks like i mean just look at the staff with the skull on it the skull's eyes are glowing 
okay and i don't know about you but typically regular skulls don't glow from the eyeballs which implies that she is some sort of witch doctor shaman type of like voodoo magic she's a woman of the spirits okay and she's even got the little antlers on her head i don't know what's going on here but i mean you know I just, bro i'm down to get weird i'm down to get weird let's smash let's see what happens next we have the tutorial woman now this woman actually changes depending on what country you live in other countries have a different looking tutorial woman okay this is the one that's in my game and she looks really cute she looks like she's going to like a wedding or something like that okay or like she's the host of a of a game show or she like reveals the prizes on uh you know deal or no deal or something like that okay I think she's pretty hot I'm into brunettes I'm gonna go ahead and put her like probably here I would say definitely uh definitely smash for sure and next we have Yadviga <laughs> Yadviga gets her own category of you go straight to jail Yadviga is a child so that's an easy no no question about it don't be weird in the comment section below moving on to Joan of Arc Prime sheesh Joan of Arc Prime she was not in the game when I made my previous tier list but damn she do be fine she looks damn good she is a warrior apparently she's a virgin so she I I, I mean she probably wouldn't even smash if you if you wanted to but you know I'm gonna put her like probably right right here I think that's a really good that's a good place for Joan of Arc Prime like a hundred percent she's fit she's hot if you get in trouble she probably could kill people you know what I'm saying she's perfect now Joan of Arc epic I'm gonna say I'm gonna say pass for the same reason of uh you know of epic Boudica they just they seem like lovely girls okay they seem nice they're they're sweet but uh, not not really interested okay uh we we wait for them to be badass savages and then then we're interested that's that's what's going on here next is Kira Kira is you know she's like she looks a little bit more tomboyish compared to like Ethelfled for example I think I'm gonna pass uh definitely above Astrid but that I think that's a pretty fair place to put our girl Kira I'm just she's a barbarian basically okay she lives out in the in the woods you know like I don't know it's just it's just not doing it for me she looks very tomboyish I'm, I'm not into it next up is Margaret uh and for me I mean I don't know if it's the hair color or the hairstyle she looks pretty old like she looks like she's in maybe her like late 40s early 50s something like that um and the thing about that is it's not going to change the fact that she goes into smash category she, she goes in smash category she looks like sure she maybe she's a little bit past her prime okay but look at the big blue eyes the the smile she's the high queen of the north she's regal I don't know listen hey it's it might be a cougar but I would probably I would probably still smash to be honest with you next up we got Mark's woman okay Mark's woman is she's cute I mean she's the first companion you meet on your rise of kingdoms journey she's hella fierce look at the look at the look in her eyes she's ready to put she's ready to let go of that arrow she's ready to put it through your chest but also she got a smile on her face while she's doing it she's look she looks cute that she going in smash category she going in smash category uh above above margaret for sure you know what margaret and margaret goes goes below ethel Flood, i gotta be honest with you yeah i think that's a, that's a good place for mark's woman i mean again whoever designs these characters the thighs like the thigh to knee ratio here like what what is going on there boys i don't know next we got matilda okay uh and matilda of flanders doesn't have a chin like anyone ever noticed that she's got no chin i don't know what's going on there um she looks like the type of girl that like you would settle down with like she's like a nice like a wife a wife basically that's what she is i'm gonna i'm gonna put her in pass okay um i'm gonna put her probably above Boudica, probably above Joan of Arc I think that's where I think that's where Matilda of Flanders goes like she she like uh, almost does it right like she's not she's not bad looking right it's just the vibe that I get like is it wrong for me to judge based on like the fact that she's got massive cheeks and no chin like that's more of like an art design thing right like like that like it just doesn't look real like a, like a real woman would not look like that in real life it's an unrealistic thing to have here so for me it just feels odd so I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna pass on that one but she does look very 
sweet like a lovely woman next up is mulan who also joins our friend yadviga in the jail time category i'm pretty sure mulan is like supposed to be 16 years old so uh let's just not be weird about that and move on to queen tamar of georgia queen tamar took reign when she was like 24 years old and let me just say uh whatever amount of chin that matilda is is lacking uh is made up for in queen tamar of georgia she's got a giga chad chin i don't know what is going on there i don't know what's going on with like the the head wrap and the the little the pigtails or wh whatever whatever that is it it doesn't it doesn't do it for me also she's like the way she's smirking with her eyelids low she just looks like she's she thinks she's better than everybody else and that really turns me off right so more so like yes she's got a massive chin and she looks kind of like again the, the proportions are odd here on the on the drawing but more so than that she just looks like a bitch. like she kind of just looks like a like like a bitch. okay so with that being said she's going in the past category probably about uh probably here I think that's where Queen Tamar belongs next we have Sarka now Sarka is my god she also looks like uh just like Esmeralda she looks like some sort of Pirates of the Caribbean character that you would meet in some port town she'll be like flirting with you at a bar or whatever and you don't realize she stole your phone like nine minutes ago also she's got the animation where she takes out like a crowd of dudes she's she's gorgeous she absolutely is going in smash category and I would say she probably goes I would say here I think I'm actually gonna put her here I think that's that's probably where I would put uh I would put Sarka here definitely in the smash category next we have Sunduk okay uh and this is one of the easiest smash categories of my life she's like probably number oh is she two or three here I think she goes up to two honestly I mean first of all look at the amount of gold okay she's balling she is big rich she's a queen and and let's just be honest Koreans are some of the most beautiful people I, like there's a reason k-pop is so popular okay the k-pop girl bands and the k-pop boy bands let's let's be honest here okay there's a lot of gorgeous Koreans out there and uh Sunduk is is absolutely one of them she's like a little bit flirty but also like super regal and super royal she's gorgeous she's go she's right up there she's right up at the top a hundred percent next we have Theodora uh, the thing about Theodora right like if we if we talk about Margaret being like in her early 50s and she's kind of like you're gonna you're gonna go the cougar route uh Theodora looks like she's in her late 50s and she just lost her husband in a war and like she's just ready to to kill everybody I mean just look how she's sitting there look how she's looking at you bro she looks like she rules with an iron fist okay and you know let me think about this for a second I'm gonna pass I'm gonna pass but she's going at the top of pass she's going at the very to the tippy top of pass you know she she almost had me there for a second she almost had me there but something about like the the eye makeup here like the gold and purple like she's just like she's she entered her hippie phase and in, in later in life I don't know it's I will respect her rule over the kingdom and I will I will pass next we have Tamo and my god is she cute bro she is so cute I gotta just point this out okay I said this in my in my thickest commander tier list but look at the the leg wrappings bro that the design on this commander is so good she is gorgeous the eye makeup is like creative here I love the hair I love the ever everything about Tamo is is beautiful and she's badass okay she commanded 300 samurai against like 2000 warriors and they won she checks every box okay she's absolutely going in smash category and I'm putting her I'm putting her number three she's going right up to the top I mean she's she's beautiful man she's look at her next we have Tamiris and Tamiris again she falls into a similar category as a Manatore okay she just looks like she's here for war she looks like she's not happy to be here she looks like she I mean if I were entering into a battle I want Tamiris on my side 100 like she she's a savage she's here for blood but let's just I mean let's take a few stylistic uh, observations here okay she's got what I don't know what this is this little like uh cardboard thing com coming around her you know I I get that that's probably for her protection or something like that to protect her back um she has a little bit of a of a golden bird head on on the top of her of her helmet or something I don't know what's going on there also the chin to cheekbone ratio her head is like a triangle brother like that again that's a that's a design choice that's not even me criticizing her as a as a woman like I, whoever drew her 
like what were you thinking brother she looks like a like an alien man this is a pass for me i'm gonna put her probably like i'm gonna put her here i think that's a that's i mean she she's just i don't really like i don't like that design man next we have Wu Zetian. Wu Zetian is look at how long her head is man like what what is going on here like i know like this is all her hair that's stocked up in like this uh i assume ceremonial way but i it doesn't uh it doesn't do it for me and she also kind of looks old is it just me like she looks older like she's like in her like 40s or 50s or something I, I don't know I like the dragon on her dress thing here that's kind of cool like I mean she's the eternal empress I, I think she she obviously looks extremely powerful and well respected uh and and I, I like that but I'm gonna have to pass on on Wuzetian. this is a this is a pretty big pass for me I'm gonna put her like right above Astrid like she's she's pretty far down there next we have Zenobia oh my god Zenobia is gorgeous bro look at her her hair looks so gorgeous her eyes the way she's standing she's regal she's royal and I'm gonna be honest she's wearing a lot of armor but she looks kind of thick boys let's be let's be real like she she's she's beautiful and she's rich she's a queen she knows how to use a blade Zenobia is going like I think Zenobia goes here like she's a she's pretty high up on the smash category like she's she do be looking good boys let's let's be real now somehow when I made this tier maker I must have added Queen Tamar twice and also Dragon Lancer is somehow in here so I mean, I mean hey listen bro hey we yo listen let's it's it, it is what it is bro it is what it is two beers and one truffle shuffle with his shirt later and I'm I'm smashing boys 100 anyway we made it to the end of what is quite possibly the most cringe video I've ever made on YouTube in my life and it's sad that I feel like I have to say this but guys this video is a joke okay this is this is a joke it's for the memes it's for entertainment purposes only if you're weird or obnoxious in the comment section I'm just I'm not even gonna delete the comment I'm banning you straight up I just feel like I've made a lot of very serious guide videos lately and uh, we had to break up the seriousness okay we had to have we gotta have a little bit of fun here on the channel so you let me know who's number one on your smash or pass tier list I would love I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below that way at least I know that I'm not the only weirdo who's thought about these commanders in this way okay oh god anyway guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video if you found it funny or entertaining or whatever drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload an outrageous and ridiculous rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon peace